Did you know that it's not the actual lifestyle overhauls that get you to your goals? It's the tiny things that you're gonna do throughout the day that lead to the dramatic transformations over time. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven daily habits that are gonna change your life. Number one, let's start with something easy. Drink a glass of water. You wake up dehydrated. So first thing in the morning, drink a glass of water, ideally with some electrolytes. Now, if you don't have something like an element packet, you could just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt in there to allow for that additional electrolyte balance. Number two, prioritize a balanced breakfast. Now, a lot of people overlook the importance of that first meal of the day, but the truth is if you have something satiating, so balancing proteins, carbs, fats, plenty of fibers and nutrients through you know, fruits and through uh, grains like oatmeal or an Ezekiel bread, for example, those things are gonna keep you fuller for longer. So you're not gonna hit this wall in the middle of the morning or early afternoon, and you're not gonna be feeling starving throughout the day. And you get through it and you wanna just pound all this food by dinner time. The key is starting by balancing your blood sugars with a balanced breakfast, and that will carry you through the rest of the day. Number three, move your body. Aim for at least 30 minutes of physical exercise on a daily basis. This is a starting point, and that can literally just be going for a walk at lunchtime if you have no other time to do anything else. But ideally, we do want to work in some training, um, lifting weights, getting some more intense cardio in level two for a longer period, or going through higher intensity intervals, um, which allows you to get more done in less time. But as a baseline, just for a box to check, you want to aim for 30 minutes of physical activity on a daily basis. Number four practicing mindfulness now this is something that truly changed my life about two years ago and it all started with focusing on my breath that's something that you can then evolve into a longer form of meditation um, but if you can just follow your breath for a minute for two minutes for three minutes to get started you can do it in a quiet room you can do it in the middle of the construction site the point is to be centered to be mindful to be present in the current moment um, so don't worry about all the distractions going on around you. Just focus on the exercise of following your breath. You know, if you want to just focus on breathing through your nose, in and out, feel that breath all the way in, feel it all the way out, feel it coming in from the tip of your nose and just focus on that. It's okay to get distracted, so do not be discouraged by that. Just allow the practice to grow. When you get distracted, let that thought pass and come back to your breath. That is the beginning of meditation. So from that point, you can kind of follow through that for a 10 minute period. Um, and again, notice the thoughts and notice the distractions, be aware of everything around you. Um, there are a lot more things we can talk about in depth, but for this video, focus on incorporating some form of mindfulness. And that checkbox can literally just be a minute of focused breathing on an as needed basis throughout the day. Number five, take breaks from screens. And this can be tough if you do work from home or you're in the office and your job is on a computer, but if you can just get yourself up once an hour for one to five minutes, do a couple laps around the house, get outside, get some sunshine on your face, get some fresh air, it is huge for boosting our mental health. When we get sucked into those screens, we feel very tired, weighed down and sluggish. So just simply stepping away from the computer, moving our bodies for a minute, doing a lap around the house, it will make a huge difference. So number five, that checkbox is just stepping away from those screens. You can set the interval that's gonna work best for you. Number six, prioritizing sleep. And not just sleep, but quality sleep. So making sure you're timing it so at a minimum, it's seven hours per night. Ideally, you wanna be in that seven to nine hour range and looking at your sleep hygiene. So what are you doing an hour before bed? Hopefully we're unplugging from all technology, swap the phone for a book you know, watch Netflix up to that hour period, but then, you know, do a gratitude journal or read a few pages before you go to sleep, meditate, you know, stack that before bed. Set yourself up, not just for the right amount of time, but an optimal quality, optimal level of quality. Um, so review that. Ideally, you wanna stop eating three hours before we go to sleep. Um, two hours, they say, for work, give yourself that two hour break. Um, and then the one hour completely unplugged before jumping into bed. So number six, prioritizing at least seven hours of quality sleep per night. And number seven, stay connected. This is something that is very easy to overlook as you get lost in the busyness, as you have kids, as you have these work projects coming up, but you have to stay connected to that community. And even if that's just your parents, just your siblings, you know, a very small, close-knit group of friends, um, don't let that fall to the wayside. It goes a long way, not just for mental health, which it does have a huge impact on, but your, for your physical health. This is something where you actually boost your immune system by reducing stress levels. You allow for more parasympathetic dominance versus sympathetic nervous system dominance, where fight or flight sympathetic 
uh, rest and digest parasympathetic and that's where all of the healing takes place um, that's where a lot of good things happen in recovery it's the parasympathetic taking over from the sympathetic nervous system so staying connected laughing being with friends having that break you know stepping out of the grind and just appreciating being with your people um, if you want to take staying connected to another channel definitely include that part but stay connected with nature get outside find some trees to, to walk through um, we've talked about forest bathing in another video a couple of different times but it's a huge component to our mental health to our physical health again reducing those stress levels so number seven that's the last one stay connected to your community and to nature so guys if you're able to incorporate these seven simple habits into your daily life you are going to notice a massive improvement in your overall health i hope you guys found value in this video i hope you guys put those tips to the test if you did find value if you are enjoying these make sure you like the video and subscribe so you stay up to date with each one that comes out from here I appreciate you being here. We'll catch you in the next one.